Today we're gonna make, be making yum. Gosh, I sucked down on my sample. But I have jicama that I had to use up. I already peeled that. And then I have celery that I washed. This is one head of celery. And then I have the rest of um, oranges from an eight pound bag. I've had it for a while. First, I'm gonna cut this jicama. And you don't really have to cut it that small either because I'm gonna use, um, usually I always use <laughs> the Nama J2. So there's minimal prep. You don't even have to cut it this small really. But uh, it's good to cut it uh, like, instead of putting the whole thing in there, I'm shaking the whole table, because then you could fit more inside the hopper. the celery cut up in smaller pieces even though you don't really have to cut it and it'll fit in the hopper but you know celery is so stringy you just want everything to flow you want to make a juice like me I just I worked out I took a shower and now I want something like really juicy One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven oranges. Oranges are the softest thing, so I'm gonna put them on the bottom. I'll put three in there. And then the celery, which I cut up, you know, uh, about like this. And then we have some jicama, two, uh, I would say kind of medium-ish jicamas. You close it up. So the oranges are vitamin C, um, high in vitamin C. And then the celery, like post-workout, that's um, natural sodium in the, in the celery, which is great for blood pressure and to replace your sodium after you sweat from a workout. Then the jicama, which is great for your gut, and it makes the juice, uh, it stretches the juice out, makes it really watery without just having concentrated sugars. Everything's twirling around in there. Another great addition to this juice would be turmeric. It would make it the orange really pop. But since we have the jicama, it's kind of toning down the orange color a little bit. Ginger would be a good addition too. So you see the process is um, basically fill the hopper up and let it do its job. I'm going to tilt it over because I want every drop. <laughs> Oranges are pulpy, so it's more, uh, it takes a little, sometimes a little more effort to get it to go through the strainer. But you don't have to strain your juices. Some people like pulpy orange juice. I never really did. Another thing you could do is, um, what would be quicker if I poured this just in a nut milk bag and I wasn't putting it through a strainer. It has like a little tinge of green from the celery and then it's light. The, joint, um, the juice is a light color because I added jicama and then a little bit of orange color to it. You can see it has a little bit of a um, greenish tinge to it. not real real sweet but tastes real real juicy you could taste the oranges but it's not just like it's just orange juice and the celery I can't really taste it at all it could be because I'm used to celery but I don't really taste it 
but I, it just tastes like a hint of orange, but it's so juicy. I did burpee girl workout this morning, so this is great after a sweaty burpee girl core, standing core workout. So I'll, I'll link both of her channels below. Mmm.